what we found is that for a perfectly elastic collision the velocity of separation is equal to the velocity of approach whereas for a perfectly inelastic collision the velocity of separation was zero because the two bodies traveled as a single body after the collision but in general a body is neither perfectly elastic nor perfectly inelastic in fact it is just a inelastic body and hence what we can do is in the general case we can say that the velocity of separation is proportional to the velocity of approach and if you remove the proportionality symbol then you just get a proportionality constant which i am going to call e where this uh, constant of proportionality e is known as the coefficient of restitution of the body this coefficient of restitution thing actually depends upon the material of the body and hence what the uh, velocity the bodies will have after the collision will actually depend upon what material they are made up of we can easily see that for a perfectly elastic collision the value of coefficient of restitution has to be 1 whereas for a perfectly inelastic collision the value of coefficient of restitution is 0 but since no body is perfectly elastic or inelastic hence the value of coefficient of restitution in general will lie between 0 and 1